Hi, Skip from SaxShed.com. I'm here today to talk about pattern playing on the saxophone and more specifically improvisation. Uh, many players when they first learn to improvise start off learning modes or maybe even sim more simply the blues scale. Pattern playing. Pattern playing you're probably doing already if you're an intermediate player. Those patterns that you start off with initially are scales. We learn our major scales and that's a pattern. So if I play a G scale <laughs> happen to slur that. I'll do the same thing with a D scale. That was a G scale, now here's a D scale. On saxophone we typically play scales two octaves where we can. So that's pattern playing. Take that through all the keys and I am basically playing my major scales from memory in all 12 keys two octaves where applicable. And so on and so forth. By playing these patterns, our fingers get better at uh, at playing these uh, these movements. The finger memory is what we really develop. Our fingers just go places automatically. Well the same thing is true in improvisation. And once you have your major scales down, and they don't have to be in all 12 keys before you embark on playing other pattern playing which leads to better improvisation. But it is, it is uh, always a goal to try to work towards learning all those 12 keys. Let's take a simple pattern, probably the simplest pattern, one, two, three, five. When I first learned the song uh, Giant Steps by John Coltrane, that's where I first learned of this pattern. I was um, at some point in high school. And what's nice about this pattern that Coltrane employs throughout Giant Steps is um, it's just a five note pattern, one, two, three, five, on any given chord and often they are major chords or dominant chords. Uh, if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. We're going to relate these to the major scale. So in the case of a G major scale, we want to use the first, second, third, and fifth note. So it's G, A, B, D. We'll take that through every key. I'll go through uh, sharps first. G, D, A, and E up to four sharps. So I just played that pattern in four different keys. Take it through the flats. I'll start with C and then do F, B flat, E flat, A flat. And that was my pattern. One, two, three, five. These are great ways to work on on some different ideas that you can throw in the improvisation or just work out the fingers. So once you got those major scales, don't hesitate getting into pattern playing, uh, which could be something as simple as uh, one, two, three, five on any major scale. I'm Skip for SaxShed.com. Stay well and play well.